A new education law will bring sweeping changes to Puerto Rico. Governor Ricardo Rocio signed it in February 2018. Until recently, Puerto Rico was the third largest school system in the U.S., but about 20,000 students leave every year. Roughly twice that number left after Hurricane Maria devastated the island. Puerto Rico's school system is also one of the worst. You see very large gaps. The system has long suffered from a lack of investment, um, and the consequences of that lack of investment are lack of opportunity for students. The most contentious part of the new law was allowing charter schools on the island. Until now, it was illegal. Charter schools are schools that receive public funds, the same as a traditional public school. The difference is that charter schools are run independently of the school district. Advocates say charter schools mean more innovation and choice for families. Prior to the, the reform bill, the only choice you had was the school that wasn't doing well, that had no books, whose teachers weren't paid well, whose ceiling was leaking. There's, that's it. But critics say charter schools take money away from traditional public schools. The government needed or used the hurricane as an excuse to achieve their plans of privatization. The Boys and Girls Club of Puerto Rico opened the first charter school on the island. It's called Vimenti. Vimenti means life learners. The majority of people living around the school have an annual income of less than $5,000. So Vimenti is trying out a comprehensive approach. Education is, is more than a classroom. In addition to rigorous academics, they also do health screenings and even train students' parents for jobs. Me. Teachers in the school earn one and a half times what regular teachers make in Puerto Rico. Vimenti also spends three times the amount on their students. It's all money from private donors and wealthy foundations. But union leaders warn about what happened in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Where 95% of the schools were privatized, where 7,500 teachers were laid off, whereas 2010, they had thousands of claims in the court system against charter schools because of the discrimination that special education children received. Studies showed New Orleans students improved academically, but researchers warned what worked there may not work in other places. Most states in the U.S. have charter schools, and the number of students enrolled in them is increasing. In Puerto Rico, at least two other charter schools are expected to open in 2019.